Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and it is Do you only date vegans? This is a good one. In a perfect world, yes, of course. Um, however, it's not a perfect world as we all know. Um, I, I have always, since when I was younger, I always liked the idea of finding a compatible vegan male um, the reality of that I think is a lot harder and I think I've found now as I'm getting a bit older um, that I just would like to find someone who's a compassionate person and um, whether they're vegan or not vegan um, that, that, that can always change um, and just because someone's a vegan doesn't mean they're a nice person or even that we're compatible and that we want similar sort of things from life so that was quite a quite a big um lesson to learn when i finally realized that a few years back and just to repeat you know just because someone's vegan doesn't mean they're a nice person and i you know want to be with someone who's a nice person who i enjoy their company who we want to do things together who likes to travel who is um excited about um learning about new cultures meeting new people and can come to events with me and um you know be able to communicate with other people well and has you know some really good focus in their life and is really goal orientated with what they want to do as a person um, and so that can be a bit hard to find someone like that and I'm not one of those people who will just settle for someone so I'm quite happy and content to be single until I find the right person um, or the right person for me so um, also, it's hard to, to find vegans that you like um, or that you could see yourself with long term. Um, I know some wonderful people and a lot of guys um, overseas in particular that are wonderful people, but they, you know, they live overseas and I quite like Brisbane here in Australia. And, um, you know, a lot of people, if they, if they don't want to move, it can be hard to date someone from another state, let alone another country. Um, in particular, if you have someone from a different culture who speaks a different language, all these things can be really hard, whether or not they're vegan. Um, I'd just like to share a story with um, my... Um, I had a friend and I were having a debate slash argument years ago, um, Lindsay and I, and um, he was saying, I've only ever dated vegan girls like getting up on his high horse about it and I'm like uh, that's good for you Lindsay but you do realize that there's a lot more girls that are vegan than there are guys so um, that's great and um, even though he's changed a bit from th those thoughts now but um, you know it, it there's a lot more options for guys if they if they want to date females than there is for females who want to date males and um, and like like he said you know there can be some really cool um, non-vegans and they can be some really horrible vegans so it just depends on you and the person that you like and whether or not you share similar sort of ideals um, I, I love my reality TV and I'd just like to give an example of this show it was called Tough Love and it was like a some sort of Fox Fox um, presentation with this guy and his mum that run a um, like a matchmaking business and he had all these girls that he was um, helping and there was a room full of a hundred guys and he got one girl to go up and say like her like the things that she had to have in a relationship so the first one was I don't date smokers so you know all these people who were smokers sat down and that's definitely one thing for me I would never ever date a smoker again um, so all these people sat down there's a few people left then she said, because she was really into fitness, she said, oh, they have to work out at the gym at least three times a week. So, like, the majority of people sat down then. And I think there was, like, maybe ten people left out of a hundred. And she said, and they have to have over, and it was quite a high figure that they made. And so only one, no, two guys actually were left standing. And then um, the guy said to her, oh, Steve, that's his name. He said, oh, do you find either of these guys attractive in a physical way? And she's like, no. <laughs> so out of 100 people that this girl had, um, she had 
no chance of being with any of those people because of these ideas that she had in her head. So anyway, my point is, um, choose the things that you will and will not sort of budge on, like for me, non-smoker, definitely. Um, and then be open to the rest. And you never know, people can become vegan or at the very least can be really um, receptive and really supportive of your vegan lifestyle. Um, I definitely would would not date someone who is anti-vegan and who just doesn't understand it, doesn't care for it. Um, so it would have to be someone who's passionate about things I'm passionate about. And this can always change and you can grow together. But anyway, I hope that's helped. Um, let me know if that's worked for you, if it hasn't. And um, I'll see you next week.